It's officially duck season. It's officially duck season. And as a Canelo fan, I am highly, highly disappointed. This right here is highly inexcusable. There is no way that Edgar Belanga should be getting this next fight with Canelo Alvarez. No way. There is nothing that I could absolutely say right now as a Canelo fan to defend this man in choosing Edgar Belanga. Let's take a look at it. If you take a look at Edgar Belanga's box rec, it's 22-0, 17 knockouts, but not a notable name on the resume. Not one single notable name. No Demetrius Andre, no Andre Durrell, no Caleb Plant, nothing. So if you take a look at the ranking system, of course, you've got David Benavidez first. Then when you scroll on down, you might find Edgar Belanga. And that's for one sanctioning body. For the next sanctioning body, you scroll down, maybe number four, you'll find Edgar Belanga. And you keep taking a look at these records, man, and you keep taking a look at the politics of things. I'm going to tell you what I personally think. You know, you've got William Skull, number one, which is who they tried to mandate Canelo to fight. And then you look at the fourth sanctioning body, which is the WBC, David Benavidez. And then you scroll on down, you'll find Edgar Belanga. So what I'm thinking is he is trying to maintain his undisputed status by fighting somebody in the rankings. Anybody in the rankings that will allow him to maintain his undisputed status. Not necessarily the best competition, which at this point in time would be David Benavidez. It's an apparent duck. It's an apparent duck, and I got to call it that. There is no way that he should have chose Edgar Belanga out of all opponents. You know, he's a lower ranked opponent on the system in all sanctioning bodies. But the number one that everybody wants to see is David Benavidez or Terrence Crawford. But understanding that Canelo's on his way out and maybe this might be his last fight, it reminds me of this situation right here. The mayweather Berto situation. Y'all remember how disgusted people were when Mayweather picked Berto as his last fight? As if Berto was undeserving of that fight. In which Berto was. Like, I respect Andre Berto. But it's apparent that fighters are trying to pick the easy way out when they close out their careers. What do you think? Like, comment, subscribe.